Hey, 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 Mid School Made Easy. This video is going to go over the phenomenon known as stress gastritis or stress gastric ulceration or stress peptic ulcer disease. Uh, this is something often talked about in um, ICUs across the world and uh, is honestly over treated. So, the things that uh, in the literature have shown to be uh, associated with the development of stress gastritis or ulceration, which is the inflammation of the gastric mucosa simply because of some other like ongoing physiology. Um, there's two big ones, and these are the two that you want to think about treating uh, in all your ICU patients. The first one is a coagulopathic patient, <clears throat> and the other is being ventilated greater than 48 hours. And these are supported in the literature that uh, if you have a patient who's coagulopathic, um, for whatever reason, or if they've been intubated for 48 hours, you want to put them on some sort of PPI or some sort of uh, 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 gastric acid uh, decrease or H2 blocker or something like that. Um, the other two that are often talked about uh, but haven't been shown to have such a strong correlation with the development of this is number one, uh, head trauma. And these are the so-called curling ulcers. Uh, that might not be actually a thing. And the other thing is if you have a history of peptic ulcer disease for another reason. You know, so you already came in, you were predisposed to uh, peptic ulcer disease for some other reason, then you might develop it while you're in the ICU. So definitely for these two reasons, you want to put that patient on a PPI, and then you want to consider it in these two reasons. But the days of all ICU patients or all people that get intubated being put on a PPI initially or things like that have kind of gone away. All right, thank you.